<laughs> Check out all these puny music players. My name is Khan Max and I am here to pop your headphones up. If you're a fan of checking out the latest audio gear and searching for new tools to add to your audiophile arsenal, then you're in the right place. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss all the latest audiophile reviews and videos right here at Moon Audio. Today we are here with yet another brand new Estellan Kern music player. It's not just any ordinary music player, but the most powerful music player on the market that can truly fit in the palm of your hand. It's the latest update to the Khan lineup, which is Estellan Kern's powerhouse line of music players, equipped with more power than even some portable headphone amplifiers have. They're a popular option for audiophiles who have some beefy headphones that require a lot of juice. So let's see how it stacks up and if you'll be able to handle the audio horsepower in this thing. It's actually a little surprising how powerful the Con Max actually is when you look at the size of the DAP. Aesthetically, it's exactly what you would expect from a Stellan Kern. Sharp edges, futuristic looking, and sleek design. The chassis is made from aluminum, so it's not terribly heavy, but it has some nice weight to it from the internal components. You'll definitely want to get a case for it as the edges and corners are sharp from the precision milling process. On the top of the music player, you'll find your power button, 3.5 millimeter unbalanced, 4.4 millimeter balanced, and 2.5 millimeter balanced headphone jacks. On the left side of the device is the play, pause, track back, and forward buttons. Note that the play, pause button in the middle is a pressure sensitive button requiring very little pressure to activate. At first I thought this was a defect of the unit as the track and skip buttons have travel to them before they click and activate, just like all three buttons did in the Con Alpha. So quick note there. The bottom is where you'll find the micro SD card slot and the USB-C charging port. On the right side is the staple large volume knob as on all Estelle and Kern players. Tactile and clicky and the LED ring around the knob indicates track information as well. The Con Max is equipped with a 4.1 inch 720 by 1280 touch display. I find this the sweet spot for a portable player in general, let alone one with this much power. It's snappy and responsive and is crisp enough at this size to look great. Sure, there are larger and better looking screens out there, but for an Estelle and Kern player, you're going to be listening to the music, not watching YouTube or playing games. The Cell and Kern hasn't changed up their navigation system or software, which is fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. I just think it's starting to look a little dated. The Con Max is equipped with four ES9038Q2M DAC chips and supports up to 32 bit 768. You'll be familiar with the output levels if you know or have the Con Alpha or the Acro CA1000. You can set the output level on these devices according to your power needs. Low output does two VRMS unbalanced and four imbalanced. Mid output level does four VRMS on unbalanced and eight imbalanced. High output level does six VRMS on unbalanced and 12 imbalanced. And distinctive to the Acro and now the Con Max is the super output level giving you a whopping 8V RMS in unbalanced and 15V RMS in balanced mode. It can't be overstated how impressive it is that a device of this size can output that much power. It can somewhat power a Susfara, but it can definitely do everything else out there. For my testing session, I paired the Con Max with the Meze Audio Empyreans and the Focal Utopia headphones, along with the Hi-Fi Man HE1000 V2 headphones and a Silver Dragon Premium cable for each. So there are a couple other products that use the Quad 9038 Q2M setup, namely the Element i2 from Matrix Audio 
and the SIM3 DAC module from Estelle and Kern. Yes, it has the 9038 flagship number on the chip, but there are some notable differences between the Pro and the Q2M chips. Pro chips are eight channel, whereas the Q2M chips are only two, but they are much more power efficient than their Pro counterparts. In my listening sessions, there are a number of things that stand out about the sound. Although the 9038 Q2M leans on the analytical side of things, there is an impressive amount of depth to the sound with sharp attacks and tight low end. The Conmax really shines in its versatility of handling any type of headphones and IEM sensitivities with the various gain stages. This power goes a long way in providing some amazing imaging and sound stage, pretty much just giving any headphone more room to work with sonically. So whereas the DAC itself might be more analytical in nature, the rest of the DAP helps to bring out everything else in a natural way, making the Max the best sounding con of the bunch in my opinion. The obvious question here is how does the Con Max compare to the Con Alpha? I think I already answered the question of sound as the Max sounds much better and more resolute all around than the Con Alpha, but that's not the only thing that the Max does better. Styled similarly, the Max is a touch lighter than the Alpha and pretty much the same size, give or take a millimeter here or there. The biggest difference is that the Con Max takes the power level a step further than the Alpha, giving it a super output level with a whopping 8V RMS in unbalanced and 15V RMS in balanced mode. This actually puts the Con Max in the same tier as the Acro, which is a Cell and Kern's portable and desktop hybrid headphone amp. It's pretty impressive they can pack this much power into a device of this size, making the Con Max the superior product in every way. The Acro is a good option for those wanting to use the music player as a desktop headphone amp with the stereo RCA ins and outs for even more connectivity options. Unfortunately, the form factor makes it an awkward duck to use portably, but nonetheless, it can be done. The Alpha is still a great DAP in its own right, and if you don't need the extra power of the Con Max, it's still one of the more powerful and capable higher end DAPs on the market. But we can't overstate enough the fact that the extra power goes a long way in overall performance, especially with power hungry drivers like planar magnetics, etc. The more power you throw at them, the better they sound. The other thing to mention is that the Max gets around 13 hours tops on low gain. The Alpha gets around 14 to 14 and a half, pretty good considering the power capability increase of the Con Max. The Acro even gets about 10 hours with a larger battery. So again, big points here for the Con Max. All the features from the last Con carry over to the new Con Max, Bluetooth 5.0 with AppDex HD and LDAC codec support, BT Sync, AK File Drop, Replay Gain, LED, RGB wheel around the volume knob for track information, MQA, DAC filters, and more. BT Sync and AK File Drop are some great Estelle and Kern exclusive features. BT Sync allows you to connect to a music source and stream the music through your DAP for expanded library access while getting all of the sonic benefits of the DAP itself. AK File Drop allows you to configure your music player as a network drive and lets you add or remove music wirelessly without having to manually hook up to your computer. We have tutorials on both of these features, which we'll link to in the description below. The Con Max is a beast of a music player. The size, sound, power, and number of flagship level features makes it really hard not to recommend this music player for those who like using their full-size headphones on the go. I'd say it's worth the upgrade for existing Alpha users only if you have headphones with high power needs, as they will certainly benefit from the extra super gain setting in the Con Max. The 9038 Q2M DAC sound dynamic and resolute, and it's easily the best sounding Con music player. The price point also hits the sweet spot between great sound and great price, hitting well below the flagship price range, but retaining excellent sound 
and a wide range of features only found on a premium brand like Estelle & Kern. We'll include a link to the full review in the description below, which has a lot more info on specs, sound impressions, comparisons with other key Estelle & Kern dApps, and more. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up, and if you want more audiophile and audio gear content just like this, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.